Collective, collective. I got a good story now pulled out here for us. I love y'all and hope that you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pound. Nice to meet you. And this is my spiritual practice. And I hope and pray I can give you all a message and you all re will receive it well today. Uh, to my loyal support, thank you. To my new subscribers, thank you. To people viewing my channel for the first time, I thank you for clicking on the video. And I love everybody I just said. I love each and every one of y'all. And I hope I can give you a little bit of clarity uh, today and to help you make the right choice. But I want y'all to know I'm not telling y'all what to do. I'm just telling you what spirit throws out. Okay, that's what I do on my channel. I just tell what spirit want me, wants me to say, okay? Throw it out, Virgo. I'm not taking that other one. Hang on. So, I pulled out Virgo, ruled by tricky Mercury, and right now it's Virgo season, uh, and uh, Mercury's in retrograde. He's about six or seven planets in retrograde. These earth, earthy signs make their list and check it a million times. Virgo, symbolized as the Virgin, are all about perfectionism. They are one of the most detail-oriented signs in the zodiac and will not stop until the job is done just right. They are often the most analytical and the most organized in the astrology wheel. They have many hidden talents, though they are often afraid to share that with others because of a fear of imperfection. Everybody has imperfections. There's none of us on this earth that can say we're perfect. If we was perfect, we'd be God. Do you understand? And we're not. And people that think that they are God, they are trapped in narcissism. I teach this all the time to the collective so you understand. Trust and believe what I'm telling you. Oh, but anyways, so don't be hung up on uh, perfectionism because when you do, that's a narcissistic trait. Are you listening? There's nobody perfect. You'll never find the perfect, mate. You can sit and wish and dream and be making love to your woman and be sitting over there dreaming and wishing of somebody else. You know, things like that goes on sometimes in people's heads. But, you know, you just... They're, they're scared that they'll show up as imperfect if they tell you they fucking did something. No. You need to tell that person. You need to tell your partner. You don't need to hang on to it because you're fucking scared and you're, you're in fear of what others will say. I don't give a fuck what other people say. That's where your first mistake is. Don't care what others think. Because everybody's always going to think. They're always going to think wrong, uh, and wrong or right. Who cares? You know if you're doing right or good or bad. 333. Three, three, and I know how to manifest. But when they loosen up and let others in, they are amazing friends that you'll have for life. Yeah. See? But they got to open up. And not hang on to old shit in her heart. Post-shadow retrograde. The post-shadow phase of the retrograde follows the retrograde. This phase takes place after the planet has stationed. When the planet appears to stop before beginning retrograde and is working its way to the final degree where the cycle began. In this phase, you are clearing up what became undone or was confusing during the actual retrograde. In general, post-shadow retrograde is when you can recover or reckon with what got shaken up during that cycle. So, uh, they saw um, confusing, something confusing going on with this Virgo's friend, which is a cancer. Oh, and ain't it funny that Virgo reading I had the other day, huh? Uh, oh, Virgo and cancer, remember? And they had a kid, Jill and I. Jill and I pulled out, and I love you, spirit. You show me twice. You show me twice. It's showing us again, you all, because, look, it pulled out Jill and I over here. So that reading I just did the other day when I said that I think spirit was showing me because I didn't know why Cancer and Virgo kept coming out all the time. 
and then it shot out they had a child together which was a gemini and i said thank you spirit because you're showing it show me again see i want that that was a true reading so i need to go back pay attention i know what it said oh and it's symbolized by the crab which seeks shelter in its own shell cancers feel most supported in the comforts of their own home Known for being intuitive, sensitive, and attuned to the cycles of the moon, they are often artistically and musically inclined. They are also extremely loyal and protected of those they care about, so much so that it can be hard to pull them away from their loved ones. Don't you dare mess with their friends or family or else you'll get those pinchers. So I think that... Uh, that uh, this Virgo is needing to loosen up and let others in about what they've been hiding shadow sh post shadow retrograde during this retrograde down phase that we're going on right now to break his cycle what got shaken up is they might have fucked this cancer behind your back or this cancer uh, might have come in between your relationship somehow, and you might not even know. Maybe they're hiding that they fucked this person, and you don't even know. But all I know is spirit tells, okay? Spirit will tell it. I don't know what's in your all's minds now, y'all. But if that's in your minds, I don't know. Because spirit will tell us. Don't worry. Just saying. It keeps putting it in my mind. Spirit does for some reason. I'm just saying it does. And it says, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. Oh, you love my new card? I love it too. Shine your light out onto others so they can see it. Oh, they see that your your words are sweet as honey. And your soul is joyous and you just shine like beacon of bright light. They love you, God Almighty. They love you so much and they know, they know now. It says somebody is getting ready to have a breakthrough is coming out here for one of you women or guys. You need to stop letting people that does so little for you control so much of your all's mind and your feelings and your emotions. And quit wondering, does he notice me? Does he really love me? Does he want me? Can he be mine one day? Is he really... Uh, truly a devoted husband to me. Whatever it is that you're all thinking, a breakthrough is coming, okay? Oh, or is she? All that I just said, he, say she, and say wife instead of husband. You understand what I'm saying? But right here, it's saying there is some woman that feels trapped in a loveless relationship. So that's there's an actual woman out here that's trapped in a loveless relationship. And, and you read palms. You might read poems for your friends, or you might do it for the public, but it's saying uh, everything. I'm not going to pick that up because it's going to make my cards fall apart. It says everything is crumbling down, and they wish they had you around to vent to. So they, some woman around wishes that she could vent to you, uh, listener, whoever you are, uh, they she wish she could vent to you because something's going on at their house, something's crumbling down. It says, Get down, shut up. Remember on Forrest Gump 828. That's where I got that from. Get down, shut up. <laughs> but so they might be a law coming around. And that's why it said, Get down, shut up, or her old man says, Get that get in there, shut the fuck up, or I'll knock the hell out of you because it says somebody is Someone needs to get out of a contractual uh, agreement that is needing to be broken because it is toxic and it wasn't meant to stay together. So there's a secret in your connection. Are you listening? There's a secret in your marriage connection. I love you, spirit. There's a secret in your marriage connection. Oh, and... Oh, Gemini's telling you. Uh -huh, Gemini's my Pisces away son. I don't know what it means for y'all, but old are telling you. And, you know, your personality is logical, clever, and skillful. You love mental pursuits and learning new things. You're very curious. You don't have to be a Gemini to do that, you know. But that's just a Gemini quality. And any day now, it's coming to you. Oh, any day now, it's coming to you Uh, that... Uh, there's a secret that's getting ready to come out. And and Spirit said, I've told you countless times. You got enlightened to this countless times. 
of this certain situation or uh and how you played a part in this situation if you had any part in it at all you've got countless times spirit look and purple purple pay attention purple purple i'm helping our uh crown chakra to heal they did this shit countless times to you they keep lying in your fucking marriage motherfucker it's pissing me off wait a minute but somebody out here, you and your partner has a sacred marriage. You're meant to come together to help the planet with showing what unconditional love truly looks like. This is a sacred connection that no one can break. Somebody out here has that. If you're not with that person yet, don't you think that you're not going to get them? Because I know you are. I don't know what the rest. Oh, I know what it's saying. Oh, and once one dies, the other goes off to die also. That's true love. And I love how Spirit flipped it out for my reading. I thank you for that, Spirit. Oh, I love you. And you're able to heal your body with healing herbs. And your hands is a gift from God. You and your partner. You're all going to be a power couple. Did you see that? Oh, baby. I know you're going to be uh, the best looking motherfuckers around when you're nicely spruced up, cleaned up, got on nice clothes. Oh, God. Divine Mask said, put on them high heel boots and we're going to go out and you're going to have on a nice black attire and look so svelte and beautiful. That's what Divine Mask said now. 1128, he loves you. He loves you, you know it. Oh, and it said, now remember, stop letting these people that does so little for you control your mind. Your angels will guide you to the person meant for you, the one who will be true to you. Look, the angels guide you. They'll guide you that this cycle needs to be broken, woman. It feels trapped in your relationship. Reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. When the harvest moon comes, you'll start seeing your business profit. You like my new card? I love you guys. 1155. So, uh, whatever seeds you sown, you're getting ready to harvest these around Halloween, around ha harvest moon, okay? And uh, so this person that this woman feels trapped up with, they have antisocial personality disorder, and they're highly arrogant. They got a grandiose sense of status and a delusion of power. They lack empathy. They exploit others. There are R A P E R. See that? That's what they are. They're a reaper. A reaper. But the other word without the E. Are you listening? Okay, and uh, your beauty is stunning. One look from you makes my heart beat as fast as a hummingbird's wings are fluttering. I love you, lovely lady. It's a poem by me, Pamela. She's your empress, babes. Oh, wow, well, Pam, you're empress, babes. Because I said by Pam, I'm just joking. Somebody, somebody, this is your empress. Emperor, your emperor is trapped in a lovish relationship and she's waiting on you. She wants to read your palm. Oh, that's what it said. Oh, and emperor said, I appreciate your beauty. This person appreciates your beauty. I, uh, uh, they appreciate your being there and showing up for them like a loving warrior. They think of you many, many times a day. And they're pulling on your energy through telepathy. Look at your birth chart. Ooh, your birth chart is going to reveal that who your telepathic partner is right now. Look at your birth chart. Look at your birth chart. It'll tell you somewhere in there. It'll tell you now what was in the signs that I pulled out. Virgo, Cancer, and post-shadow retrograde, if that shows that in your birth chart, okay? But, uh, maybe it's saying that whoever, uh, Empress is that has Empress in their title, if they're on YouTube and do a uh, tarot like you do, maybe this Empress is looking at your birth chart and pretending to be you and she can't be. You don't know my time of birth, so you're not going to get it right. <laughs> I never told my time of birth right to anyone. I'm not going to. She's jealous of your gifts. Whatever divine give you. <coughs> and look, oh, your angels will surround you and lead you away from people who will harm you. So remember to be grateful for them, star seeds. That's what they do for you, all star seeds. 
They lead you away from these arrogant dickheads. <coughs> and would anyone like a wine burger with a side of French fries on the side? I got that from Joe Dierte. Joe Dierte. <laughs> How now, brown cow? Remember that cartoon? How now, brown cow? My brother used to say that. He was funny. That's, so both funny come out. <laughs> You're a funny starseed. You lead people. Oh, and uh, somebody's mad now. And this person needs to learn to take out their anger on the person that actually did do something to them, and they want a pity party from you. But you'll see. But you. But you see this bullshit. You see the, why they're mad, because it just said it. They might be doing something now. Uh, deceased aunt said, "Move beyond old ancestral patterns." This deceased aunt said, "I'm helping you move beyond this person that you're meant to lead. Maybe you're supposed to go." West or east or south or north. It's choice is yours. Oh, and what's it said over here? They can't block my shine, baby. No, we can block my shine now, baby. You had some conflict with this person, like back and forth, going at it over and over again, and you had to stop the damn cycle. Now you had to stop the damn cycle, and these people can't block your shine now. Ha ha ha. Yes, if you had a question, it's yes. Some man is uh, yes. Some man is only using you for what you can give to them. He craves your motherly qualities because he didn't get any attention growing up. Yes, yes, yes. This man is yes. This man has got secrets in your connection. He 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 bullies you. Get down. Shut up. He probably smacks you around, woman. And and you're a good person. And you know you read Pauls and you. You do this shit countless times a day, you know. Because, you know, uh, you're like a damn uh, star seed. That's why. And this person is trying to rape you. This person that keeps secrets in your house connection. And any day now, it's coming to you where you're going to have to hear, get down, shut up. The law might be coming. Or they might be telling you, get down, shut the fuck up because they did something. Uh, they're going to be reaping what they sowed. <laughs> uh, you're going to say, ha ha, how now, bro, cow? It's funny. Uh, this karmic cycle is closed now. <laughs> and they just want it pity. You say, no, you can't have pity, no. Breakthrough's coming. They can't block your shine. Look at your bar chart out here. Yes, yes, look at your bar chart. I'm telling you. Yes, yes, you're a power couple, and when once one dies, the other dies too. That's called true love, baby. She's your empress being out here. She's your empress. And shine your light onto others so they can see it, okay? And hang on, I meant to read these few. I forgot up here. They Somebody has a false flame. This is this person that you're married to. Might be your false flame. Are you listening? And, um, or it could be, uh, you thought that you had a true twin flame. Like, you thought the person that was your twin flame there ain't, and you got to study, and you found out that maybe your married partner is actually your true twin flame, and this false flame made you go into isolation. You self-isolated yourself. Uh, maybe because you had some overt narcissist tendencies like attention-seeking. Yeah, maybe you're like an extrovert. And somebody's saying, shit or get off the pot. Either go with it or don't. Show the real you, please. They can't stop watching your shine. They see the real you. They can't stop watching you. Somebody's saying, you need to shit or get off the pot. You know, quit, quit attention seeking whoever you are. And learn that self-isolation will only teach you who the false flame is. Oh, and that is exactly true, what I just said. So, uh, it's saying, someone appreciates your sweet, kind words. You're helping her see that she's in a loveless relationship and there's no emotions or feelings anymore. And, and and she knows any day it's going to crumble down. Uh, this marriage is going to be ch ch chopped in two. And, and um, that your part, that uh, you, you have a partner from divine and it's a sacred connection and your angels is guiding you to it and they're guiding you there around 
Halloween, y'all might go out and get a burger and fries together. But you need to eat healthier than that. And your angels is guiding you, and they lead you away from these jerks, these people that are mad that they leave you, move you away from them. Spirit cut off my light again. Do you see how it does that? And it did it at 2003, I think. And uh, so uh, I don't know why it keeps doing that, y'all. It's strange. It's plugged in. How does it do it? I wasn't even moving. That, that'll that tell you I have somebody in here with me. And uh, Spirit's got, uh, telling you to, that you need to get away. Move away. Look at the arrow. Move away, honey. Don't worry about these social norms, okay? About what people think is normal. Go with what makes you feel good. And get away from this person that's trying to harm you and exploit you. It said get down, shut up. They're trying to beat the fuck out of you. And, uh... Don't go back and forth with this person. It's always a back and forth. They only use you for your mother qualities. Did that did that explain it? And this person that has telepathy with you, it's your true sacred person. You're all supposed to heal earth together. Your hands are, are a gift from God and you're beautiful and somebody sees it and they love you and it could be a Gemini and that could be this woman's person that she needs to get away from or she could be a Gemini sign one or t'other I don't know you all but it's one or t'other and uh oh right here it said that you have let me read these cards I had it right here okay so strength sometimes life will present you with challenges that you think are too difficult to endure but you know you're you're like this CS old oak tree right here it's ancient you're rooted your roots is rooted down into the earth and um you can withstand anything like the mightiest damn thunder wind storm you can withstand anything you have the strength to face the situation you will win in this game of life you just have to trust it loyalty you have chosen the symbol of loyalty, and this means you are being called to stand up for who and what you believe in. Do you know the story of the beautiful red vampire who saw the good in another and remained steadfast in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times, and you may be asked to assess whether others deserve your loyalty. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it's difficult to speak up for another person, a cause, or even for yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and to leave the rest behind. This is a true test of character. I know you will choose rightly. Stand up for what you believe and be loyal only to what is true and good to you. Ooh, spirit. Oh, wow. Oh, and then we got belonging. Come and enter the house of night. For when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in this community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This spirit, I love you. I've chosen to belong. Did you see that? Spirit, I can't read in the dark. This symbol also tells you that you are in the right place now. You are home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, know that I, Nyx, goddess of night, have chosen you. Ooh. Remember it said that goddess earlier? Uh, that goddess, I mean, empress. And now it says... The goddess of night has chosen you. Oh, wow. So you feel at home and accept, and accept, accept, you know, that you feel at home and good with you and your person. And that's great, you know. And if, and if you don't have that, then you need to find it, you know, or you need to learn to get along. If you're in a relationship and you don't get along, you need to get along and don't fight over money. That's, that's mainly... 92% of the fights in a, in a relationship is money. And you got to learn to not let money rule everything. You know, and you got to learn to save money. Until you do that, you're always going to struggle. Uh, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. 
Number 19, express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Oh. So it says express love through a gift. Be authentic with this, this gift and receive this love with appreciation and have faith in this love and demonstrate your love to each other. That what Spirit said. All right, I love you guys. I'm going to get off here because it's already 2511. And I hope I helped you all out here today. And I love y'all. And I thank you very much. And I appreciate each and every one of you all. And I can't wait to do another reading for my collective. And I'm going to leave it in the dark. 2525. Oh, wow. I love 25. That's my birthday. I love y'all. And peace. Spirit wanted to cut it off again. Ain't it funny how spirit does? I didn't do it. Y'all know I didn't. I was reading. Peace.